So look, this is this is working. Like, look, this is getting all this is getting backed up. That's what we want. We want it to get backed up. Like, because we don't want oxygen just chilling in the pipes when it could be used somewhere else is more useful. Right? So this is good. Oh, what's weird? What's this? Wait, something iron broke. What is iron back here? The dock is iron. Is there a pipe here? Is a pipe in I know. The uh, oh the dock itself took damage or something, huh? Wonder why. Uh, they built it good. Get rid of stuff. Too full of moisture. Yeah, it just we put a bed of uh, um, of like uh, sliced bell peppers and all that underneath our uh, what's it called setup. So I think it was pork. I think we were making at the time. And it just it just it just fucking like. Right, man. Like it was just—it was just like a bed of ash. <laughs> it was just a bed of ash. It just didn't do anything. Let's get rid of some of this oxygen by disconnecting this right here. This pipe. This will do it. There we go. That'll get that moving. Why is it going that way? Oh, it was the exact opposite of what it should have done. Huh. Well, we could just uh, eliminate that pipe altogether because I don't think we're going to need it. We can actually clean up a lot of pipes here. Let me see. So we have oxygen going up and into this room, this space. Clean up some of this mess. Clean up that. Clean up this mess. Clean up all this mess. Look at all this, all this room that we're saving here. Man, I might as well just gonna cut this. Just to get it to release enough pressure. Or get the, some of that stuff out of there. Have we tried zucchini in there? I have not tried zucchini in there. Although after the bell, bell pepper incident, I don't know if I want to try. Hey, look, it's working. This area is getting cool. It's getting cool. Our, uh, our gas distribution system. Our new HVAC setup seems to work pretty well. Bunch of valves. It's a bunch of valves. That's all. And this area thing over here is... How are we doing on hydrogen? I wish there was a way to like actually see the number, the amount of hydrogen you have. Like visually we could see, yes, we have more hydrogen here. The, d the deeper the pink, the more we have. And so... <laughs> And so, yeah, we could see clearly that we are getting uh, all the oxygen out, which is good, and we're replacing it with hydrogen, which is awesome. I wonder if, once we get it full, then we should start siphoning some of the hydrogen out. Like, just to run through the system. Like, we'll, we'll basically just wait, like, put a, put a sensor and just have it just dump that hydrogen into this pipe right here, and then put it into the um, into these. And actually, let's go and connect these again. Is there a vent over there? Is that where that's going? Yeah, it's all going to a vent. So. Then we'll snip this. And then what we'll do is... Yeah, once this gets to like 5,000 or something... Hi, <laughs> Sav, you, uh... Yeah, it's, that was... <laughs> I can see that being strange. This thing's getting hot, by the way, 126 degrees. Probably because these three machines are running non-stop and, and, and we're not getting any support over here. How are we doing on... Oh, I never did. I never did. Put that sensor in here to turn this off. Atmospheric sensor. Natural gas. Let's put it in right now. I'm not gonna wait until I forget again. You know how that goes. There we go. Let's make that a nine. It's a nine. Everything's a nine! Should be uh, eight. Yeah, this way we get to set this thing like five hundred, and it'll just work. Is that? Wait, why does it say there's no resources available? I just selected it. Oh, never mind. Everything's a nine. So above, send a green cell. It's above five hundo, and that's it. Once it's connected. Perfect. Good. <clears throat> we've we've taken all. Otherwise, we're gonna get chlorine. Look, all chlorine, all this stuff. Yeah, we don't want all that stuff in our in our setup here. So we'll just leave it at that. We're not. There's nothing else that's generating anything. Next dormancy is 28 cycles. We have another one coming out, and yeah, it's coming out very soon. This one, next dormancy, next activity is coming out two cycles. So good. Uh, dormancy is. Well, I want to say this one. This is the next dormancy, 28 point cycles. Uh, oh, this one's actually coming out of dormancy in a second. Oh, nice. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't read the top. <laughs> 
What up, whole hand? We started early today. Cause we can we gotta get to we gotta get to that magical one thousand. And it's twelve seventeen right now. We've gotten an additional thirty something. I don't know if we're gonna hit that today, but I mean that'd be great if we did. But um that way tomorrow we could just fuck around and just melt dupes all day. <sighs> the dream. <laughs> we cut all this. I'd like to do some kind of like pipe maintenance. Like we have so many pipes that are just not being used for anything. You know, like like this, this giant strip here. There's a vent right there, so let's get rid of this. To here. <laughs> we'll get rid of this. And these pipes. And that way we just have a straight pipe going down. And then... This is a... Oh, it's a valve. Cool. That's fine. A filter. Yeah, this is a sensor for... <clears throat> Sending it okay, so that's right. This was not really that effective because it was um yeah, so we're gonna kill it. It was just not it was just not bringing in the, the, the gas the way I wanted it to. Because it was bringing in like oxygen, and I wasn't gonna set up another filter for that, so we're gonna get rid of all this stuff. So deconstruct that, deconstruct this, uh the power, deconstruct the power to it. We don't need that either. And also automation, we'll cut that. Oh wait, pipe? Did I get the pipe? Yeah, I got pipe. Say right there, if you fell asleep listening to Clay's lo-fi, just could, uh, and just couldn't wait to start owning when you got up. <laughs> I was listening to it. <laughs> I was definitely listening to it. When they come up here and chill... Oh, how funny, it's sensing them as they walk by. <laughs> Every time they go by, I, I, I guess the sensor goes through the door. Look at that. Yeah. What is the feng shui in here, though? Oh, it's still good. 95. Awesome. Over here, it's good. Man, these arbitries. Boy, they're strong. And then there's killing demons room. So sensitive. All right, so we did it. This is great. This is just going to run forever on its own. This is going to kick on off as needed. Uh, it's going to continue to get cooler. There's no reason for it to get any hotter. We're still generating plenty of oxygen. Uh, and now that we have this 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 pipe system in place, where we're just even, we're now evenly distributing uh, gases throughout pretty much the entire base, we can actually make it even better by adding a few more vents in places. <clears throat> like, for example, I mean, just like for example, we can just put like a vent here and then here, like in the bathrooms, basically. Just put one vent in the bathroom would probably be good. I mean, let me do that. Put one vent. That way, it's just another way to split the, uh, split the, the heat. Or the cool air, should I say? The AC? I can't tell you, like, I do a lot of, you know, home, home maintenance stuff. You never, let me tell you, man. If you're ever thinking about somehow being able to afford a house, right, in the future. Um... Remember that you also assume all the duties of upkeep of that house. And so, while we're fortunate, we rent this house from Jen's mom for like a, the 1980s mortgage price. Um, we also still assume all of the duties of maintaining the place. And I can't tell you how much Auction Not Included has like helped me better visualize things that I'm trying to do in the house. Oh my god, Pakus. I don't need any more, so we should just kill them all. There we go, come on out, kill all these creatures. There we go food. Just add it to my lo-fi plays. Yeah, do it. Yeah, YouTube and Twitch. <clears throat> Never do plumbing or electric yourself. It's not worth it unless you really, really know what you're doing. I do, actually, I do a lot of electric myself, and I do some, uh, I do some plumbing. Uh, I can replace, I can replace faucets and, you know, retape, um, you know, just basic, basic, basic stuff. Uh, and some electrical I'm pretty good with. Like, I know how to do some electrical. I could change out sockets, light switches. I could change out... Um, I gotta replace a fan, which I'm, I know I could do. Uh, like a, like a, you know, bathroom fan, it's too loud. Turn on, it's like, Grrr. Uh, so th there are things I know I can do. But yeah, you're right, like, the pool, for example, has just the shittiest electrical setup. It's so bad. It's like, a pole with like a piece of wood, and then they have this box, like, mounted to it that has expire the wires that are all exposed. So like, I don't even touch the switch, the switch is right next to these two big fucking wires. That's like a main trunk line of power coming in, and it's right next to it. So I actually use a pla I have a plastic like um, 
crank, right, that I actually used. I took it off this other valve, and I used that to, like, turn the pool off and on. Yeah, and, and not, yeah, on top of the fact that the pool itself is a huge pain in the ass to, to work with. Gulp fried eggs, so we don't have more gulp fried eggs, but we do have a few of these. One, two, three. How are we doing on actual fish? Now that I killed all those fish that came in. Man, we are swimming in fish, huh? Okay, so now we have more distribution here. Look at that. That's what I want to see. I want to see the... Oh. Waiting delivery, okay. There. Yeah, so we should see now... You notice it's like green in the rooms, but yellow in the bathrooms? Because the bathrooms have, you know, all the hot water pipes coming in, so... Uh, they're gonna be, you know, naturally warm. How is that murderous neighbor? Oh god, which one? What is this liquid bridge being 120 degrees? What are you doing? What are you doing? 120 degrees? Get out of here. Speaking of hot. It's still getting hotter in here. <clears throat> god, maybe our setup of having the, uh... Um... No, no, this is purely because those things are operating. Basically, exclusively. But we don't have enough... Hydrogen to... Well, we actually, you know, we could probably start sacrificing hydrogen to run some of these things. Uh, the critters in the pool went. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Every neighbor has their own like thing that's happened, huh? Uh, no, they're doing fine. Let me see. Gas pipe, gas, gas germ, gas, gas shut off, gas valve, or pressure. Uh, that neighbor's fine. That the neighbor that killed all the killed all the rats and threw them in my pool, like that's he's fine. He's a good guy. The the biggest problem that I have is the um. Well, I mean, I don't really have a problem with it. Like, the, the next door guy is, uh, the other. So that way guy is great. This guy over here, like, there's something... It's just, a. Uh, there's just a... Strange things that happen there. The DEA was there. Oh, was DEA? No, uh, it was the Federal, like, Tax Bureau or something like that. Uh, and... When you get raided by the, the Federal Tax Bureau, I feel like you've, like, really fucked up. Like, you did something wrong. Not just, like, you didn't do your taxes. Like, there's something that you did that's wrong. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, it was, uh... There's a couple, like, weird cars that park out there and stuff. Like, it's just weird, man. Let's see, so if it's above... Let's say if it's above 4,000, just to make sure we still have... Well, it's actually... Pressure's, like, at, uh... Is at 3,000 right now. We'll do 3,000. And then it'll send a green signal. That way we can start getting some, you know, extra, uh, extra hydrogen in the system to start running these hydrogen generators. Yeah, that lady is parking a car all over the place. Yeah, she still does. Not as often, though. It definitely, it's definitely, like, stopped being so weird. Like, they've definitely, it was definitely a weird, like, a lot of weird situations that would happen next door and you're just kind of like what the fuck are these people doing uh but it's definitely t like calmed down especially after the you know the whole you know getting raided by the f feds thing like that really kind of smooth things over i think this is all nonsense we should probably rebuild this power line now that we've kind of cleaned some of this up yeah we'll do that and then we'll come back and we'll delete all the other stuff <clears throat> okay, so the oxygen is all stopped and all backed up. Look at all this. This is all cold air. 30 degree cold air out here. It almost looks like we're paused. Oh, you know what? Because we don't have any hydrogen going into this machine. Waiting fuel hydrogen. So we don't have any hydrogen going here. Reclaim the garage going. Um, well, the biggest problem I have right now with the garage is that I have a, uh, I have a car in there that I need to sell. And I just think, oh, god damn, I gotta figure out how I gotta, I gotta sit down and do it. I might just sell it to Kelly Blue Book or something like that for, like, what do they want? So I think we could probably sell it locally for, like, 8 Gs. But that's, like, if somebody wants to buy a gas-driven manual vehicle, which I just can't see that. Ha I feel like it's going to be um, just ignored. Because once people find out it's manual, I feel like two guys that came by, they were like, oh, yeah, how much? I was like, oh, yeah, it was, like, 10 Gs, which is a little high to begin with, but... Um, and then he's like, oh, and I told him it was manual, and, um, both of them was manual, and they're like, oh, okay, well, thank you. They just don't want manual. Nobody wants a manual vehicle, especially one that's, you know, well, they're all gas, but people, people prefer to have an electric or hybrid vehicle out here. So it's a tough sell. So I might just take the hit and just sell it to KBB. That way we can just get the money and just use that for, you know, whatever. Put it towards the truck or put it towards bills or stuff like that. 
Look at this system, man. Oh, this is just a thing of beauty. Beauty. Is this uh, to make room for a new project? But I just want the garage empty. <laughs> I just wanted the garage empty, man. That's, that's all. It's not I'm asking much. Okay, so wait, hold on a second. So we have a hydrogen issue where we have too much oxygen in here everywhere. All right, let's talk. How do we cool hydrogen to the point that it is liquid? And then we can't, or sorry, hydrogen, uh, oxygen to the point that it turns into a liquid and then we, and then it doesn't burst the pipes and we can use that to store it. How do we cool oxygen to that point? Because we really do have too much oxygen, um, which is so dumb. I mean, just take a look, take a look like this. This area is basically maxed out for dupe, you know, um, comfort, right? Very breathable air. This area down here, 3000 per tile and it goes all the way around to this side. We just have too much. Um, <clears throat> is it just aqua tuner, aqua tuner, aqua tuner, aqua tuner, and then when it gets to a certain point, it converts into liquid, and then, or not aqua tuner, but the other regulator, uh, and then we somehow the H2 and the O to the point it will liquefy. Oh my god. Really? God, it just doesn't seem like that's a uh, very... How do you do that? Oh, they finished this over here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do this. Just to, I want to clear all this stuff out so that way we can uh, start working over here. And not, yeah, that's, that's the problem. It's like, how do you get it to not phase shift in the pipes? Like, that's the biggest thing. In the pipes, it's going to phase shift, and that's not what I want. I want it to switch out of the pipes. Speaking of... There we go. Look at that. Nice and clean. We're getting there. We're getting there. Leave the... Oh, Jesus Christ. Gag. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yeah, what do you do with oxygen, man? Like, I, I have all these bins just holding it. This is cold air. This is cold air. Should I... Maybe I should, like, put drywall up all over space here. <laughs> and then just pump it full of oxygen. Just make a beautiful, cold room. Because, look, it's, at least it's surrounded by abyssal light. This would be a great area. Uh, gas in at close temp into the chamber and liquid pump out of the liquid... Oh. Just make more dupes to yeah that that'd be I mean I'm just barely making it with food just add another dupe I do want to add more dupes actually <clears throat> um God I'm stuck stuck brain stuck let me look this up okay don't do that yeah we'll leave this let me go to the other monitor here here you go God look at this beautiful base look at everything everything's just running beautifully. Except for the fact that you have too much oxygen. Oxygen not included. What to do with excess <laughs> oxygen? <laughs> too much oxygen. A problem I thought I never thought I'd have. Oh, beautiful. Uh, let's see. So I find I, I find a cool slush geyser. I build a room around it and collect the old cold water for cooling water uses per percent. Okay, so I don't have a cool slush geyser. What the actual fuck do I do with all this extra oxygen? If I let it just drain into my base after filtering it, it just overpressurizes everything eventually. In fact, what do I do with excess gases in general? Okay, uh, that was deleted. So great. You could breathe some puffs to help duck uh, this oxygen. Uh, blast it into space. I create a ton of oxygen in order to produce hydrogen. Way more than I could ever use. I froze it for a while, but I eventually started blasting excess into space. Void it into space. Oh my god. They're just like, get it. What the hell? Liquify all of it and later uses rocket fuel. If you got the energy, you can turn the oxygen into liquid and eventually solids. If you freeze it correctly, it won't form blocks. It'll just sit as debris on the floor. You can store a lot of oxygen that way. You can make oxalite. Oh, you're right. I could make oxalite. Totally. I, I Yeah, there's... um. Uh, God, what machine does that? Is, isn't there just like a, a specific machine for that? Let me see. Uh, stations. Have <clears throat> we refinement? Oxalite refinery. Yeah, there is. 
Oxygen. Gold power. Wow, 1.2 kilowatts. Yeah, that's a ton of power. I could run it off of maybe its own separate system somewhere. Like I could put it over here. Or right here or something like that and let it run off of this. Oh, this is not even enough. <laughs> this isn't even enough, this thing. This thing only puts out, uh, what is it? 800. Even that's not enough. And I'd be running off of this, which is feeding this over here as just, like, extra. But it looks like it's getting backed up, so maybe... Man, it's so much power. Maybe just venting into space, man. I feel like that's the answer. Just vent that shit into space. We have tons of it stored, so we'll just store it, I guess. It's not, it's not getting the way right now, right? I don't think it's getting the way right now. Like, right now we're doing okay. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, this hydrogen's building up too. I forgot I didn't uh, set this this thing. Should probably make this a like come up here and put like a hydrogen and a atmospheric pressure and just put like a and gate there. Let's do that. That way we could keep uh, the base. We have plenty of oxygen, so we just want hydrogen to come up here and just trigger this thing and then you know just dump the hydrogen out the uh, out into the. Uh, room that we're cooling right now. So yeah, we'll do an and. and then we'll run... Da -da -da. So we'll do... One sensor. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, like here. Two. And then another one right next to it. And that'll be good. So we'll do atmospheric sensor. And we'll do a... Oh, give it a second. There we go. Oh, it's in the ventilation. No, uh, what am I looking for? Gas almost sensor. There we go. We'll have to redo a lot of these pipes here. And actually, let's go ahead and blow this up. Because we don't need this anymore if we're going to regulate it up top, you know? Get more dupes to use it. Just, uh, just make sure you have storage bins that are underwater so it does not off gas. What do you mean? What you mean? Let's cut this. And we'll run this all separate. Zap, 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 zap. Look at him go. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Oops. That was a mistake. And gates. Oh, it's kind of cool. I forgot you could put these into, like, basically like, right up against. Look at this. Oh, that's fucking cool. <laughs> Man, layers. So we'll do one here and the other one here and this here. Beautiful. More deuce, more O2 use. Yes, but I need food for that too, though. That's the other thing too, I need food. So hydrogen, green signal, and then if it's above, uh, let's say 500, green signal, above, above. There we go. So this should turn on right now and it'll start draining all of this and then it'll wait till more piles up and then so on and so forth. And that's gonna bring that down into, uh, into a more usable area. Where does that go actually? Over, oh, that's right, it goes down into, into the space here. Maybe I don't I have I don't have this cycling anymore. Maybe I should turn this guy on. That way I can uh, we can bypass this. Because we don't need this cooling anymore, I don't think. Oh you know what? Well no no, because this is just using this is yeah, this is just purely using uh hydrogen in order to cool hydrogen. So we're gonna disable this. And then what we'll do is we'll run or we'll reconnect. Mm, if I if it goes through the system, will it go through the system? Here that comes. There's just no power. Oh, that's right. You got a bicycle. That shit. <laughs> you got a bicycle, man. Gotta get on there. This is just to feed hydrogen into uh, into the ATN to keep it cool. Because right now it's, uh, I mean, it's, it was at negative 100 or something like that. But now it's starting to warm up a little bit. Yeah, more deuce, more O2 use. Uh, I think we just got to get our food situation, like, stabilized. And maybe start another farm. Uh, and start, you know, doing it right. Is that granite? It is. Okay, good. Let me get rid of that. So here it comes. <clears throat> oh, you know what? Without the... Hmm... Oh, we don't need that thing right there, do we? 
Yeah, without the generator, they were no longer... Yeah, I'm not gonna have this guy pump <laughs> do that all day. I just turn this on. <laughs> yeah, get off that. Get off that guy. Let's go. Disable. There you go. Disable that. Okay, so I guess I will use some purely just to keep these lines and keep this machine over here working. So this is fine. It'll just kick on every once in a while because the pipes are backed up. But as long as the AATN continues to operate, good. And it's gonna store ice cold water in here, 28 degrees. Put a simple example on the Oni channel. Oh man. This, 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 128 degrees, yikes. Okay, so once it hits 140, then we're gonna start panicking. But right now, I'm not gonna panic. It's probably because we put all these fucking batteries here. I should probably put the batteries down here, but can they go through? Can you put batteries on top of these things? Oh, no, you cannot. Mm, sad. Sad, sad, sad. Gotta be a great place to put a whole bunch of them away from all these things. But still, like, part of the grid. We could, I guess we could move it down and just thin out this to like a single layer of insulation. And then reroute the pipe. It's already gotten so complicated. I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, Because yeah, it's running non-stop. Even though, why is it running non-stop even though it has... So these are sending a signal that it's, okay, that's sending a red. That's sending a green. That's sending a green. They should s s stop. Oh, oh, I see. The high threshold is 100. So it's not going to stop until it gets to 100. Yeah, so those three are not able to keep up with that. That's not going to happen. Uh, this is going to keep this room regulated. So that, that area, at least that is good. But we're still not enough hydrogen to keep these things running. We have three electrolyzers running right now. Not even full time. Like this one's only running partially. Yeah. Because we're recycling oxygen because we have too much oxygen. We're getting even distribution of oxygen throughout the entire base. You can see it's nice and cool now. 91 degrees in this in the entryway here. But we could probably put, a, put something there to, to clean that up. Um, I wonder if we should put... I mean, there's all this gas here. I wonder if we should put one, just one split right here and just have gas just dumping down here that's ice cold. Because it's getting pretty warm down here. So we'll just put one here and we'll just see what happens when I do this. <coughs> it's got to overpressurize pretty quickly, but... Um, so example in Discord, huh? Let me see. What are these things? So oxygen and liquid. So what are you doing? You're you're pressurizing the room. You're using okay, using those thermoregulators. And so you're using the cooling the hydrogen. Is that a vacuum around this? Looks like it. Micro liquid pumps. Oh wow, I don't think I've ever used those. And that's liquid oxygen. Huh. So how do you you're cooling it using, I guess it's the thermoregulators that are just constantly cycling here. I don't see a... Where are your switches, like your sensors, to determine what the heat value is of, of the pipes themselves? I mean, honestly, I'm about to just inject that shit into space. <laughs> Oh, so you're just cool. Oh, so you're not running hydrogen or oxygen through the pipes. You're running, uh, let me open that up again. So you got hydrogen going. I don't know if this is enough information here. I, I see what you're doing over here. You're cool. You're basically cooling the thermoregulators so that way they can continue to, to, to um, uh, to cool the... But where is the oxygen feed coming from? Uh, on the lower vents. So this these vents are... Huh. I mean, I, I get cooling the hydrogen to like extremely low temperatures. That I get. That that we could set up and do. It's going to require... Oh, this is taking damage. Okay, now why? Why? Why is this taking damage? I bet it's getting something other than oxygen. Ah, it's carbon dioxide in the line. How did that get in there? How did that get in there? Oh, maybe it's pulling from over here? 
Maybe it's pulling from over here or something. Suspect. Let's keep an eye on that. You gotta use ceramic insulated pipes. Oh my goodness. Look at this ice cold air coming out down here. Just, this is good, this is good. This is gonna help cool this area some more. And keep the, keep the bottom of the base. Nice, nice little pillow of cool air. We do need to get, we do need to get this circulated a little bit better. Because it is getting hot. 128.8. Oh god, they're still pedaling, you idiots. <laughs> that should be like a one. There you go, last ditch effort. Okay, so do I put... Where are my other options here? All the way, it's, it's not something you can set up in 10 minutes. Yeah, it seems like it's not. What's my looking at? Maybe we should start the steam turbine thing. Steam turbine. So we have some options. We could use this steam over here. Uh, and then it'll just instantly make water. Which wouldn't be a bad idea. How did that get over there? Some stupid save thing. Um, we have to crack into this somehow. This is all oxygen up here. Wow. Highly compressed oxygen. Fuck me, dude. Oh my god. How is oxygen the problem? How is oxygen the problem? What is this? Like 20? Okay, it's 10 keys each. There's steam here. But what I was thinking was coming over here and using this system over here. Kill this. Kill all this. Thank you, chat. Oh, the steam turbine I've done before. Um, I, mean, I don't know if it's, my system set was perfect, but I have done it before, though. That's kind of wham! They're really, they're really going ham on this stuff. How about just disable? Nine disable. Nine disable. Oh man. Okay, hold on. What time is it? Oh, you know what? That's what it is. I mean, you're not crustable. Brain is starting to take a shit. This is not the time to do that. <laughs> Boy. Hmm. Uh-oh. We're getting the filthy water here. Indeed, oxygen was included. Hey, what is in high school? They're great. We got them for Declan. And me. <laughs> okay. Power issues. Overheated security door. No reach. Fine, fine, fine. Bill likes resources. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Haha, <laughs> California has made you soft. Why didn't want to make a sandwich, right? Stole these from Declan. He said it's okay. We are at 867 right now. I, I strongly believe that before the end of today, we could get to maybe 925 or 950, and it's still not going to be enough to get to 1,000, I think, tomorrow. Fuck. Let me think. <laughs> Old man shouts at clouds. Okay, so this the we need more power generation options. How are we doing down here with the oil stuff? Yeah, we have we have so much petroleum down here. Ah, I was waiting for this to happen. I knew that the iron wouldn't hold up. It just gets too hot. It just gets too hot, and it doesn't have a very high um, cutoff point for heat. And this area is probably getting pretty warm too. Yeah, it's getting pretty warm down here. This is still not 
I mean, well, how much plastic do we have? 16 tons of plastic, so I, I think we could probably go and cut this thing off for the time being. And that will save on some power, so let's go ahead and uh, disable that building. We have lots of natural gas build up, uh, built up. We can put another natural gas generator and put another, uh, uh, put that in the line so that way we could relieve some of this. The ox, the hydrogen generators I put here are great, but, but I feel like they're just, we don't have enough hydrogen that we could sacrifice for this yet. Like we're not necessarily just swimming in hydrogen. Yeah, sure. We have a lot of hydrogen between here, between up here and over here. But it goes so fast, like it just goes so quickly. So I don't think that's a solution for us right now is to like just, just just crank a whole bunch of hydrogen through. No, we need the hydrogen to cool stuff. We need the hydrogen to do other things. So maybe getting, maybe reverting back to natural gas is a solution. For, and we have like one um, hydrogen just in case, you know? Huh. That's not a bad idea. I forgot about the water runoff. These things make a mess. Hmm. I am, um... Ah, oh, God, I can't make the fucking decision. Come on, calories, get my brain. Well, the heat is slowly killing because these machines are running nonstop. If I, if I could distribute that power... Um, what'd you need? Some H2O? Man, I got water! I have tons! I have so much water! <laughs> no, but what I need to do is, if I can relieve some of the stress on these three machines so they don't all have to run. Constantly. But for real though, the first thing we should do is take care of this because this is just the beginning. This is gonna go, this is gonna go next. You can see this one's already almost a temp here. What is this thing? The melting point of this is what? I don't even know. Um, but it's full. So we gotta get it fixed and then get it... Let's turn this off. So we'll just turn off this whole system over here. Just turn off. And then we have to repair this. Let's see... Disable auto repair? No, it should be repaired. And then... Hopefully we can just... With everything off in this area, we hopefully it'll start to... Kind of chill out a little bit. But I don't think it's gonna happen. Is the IRL get that brain moist? You know what? You're right. You're right. Absolutely. <sighs> Did you make too much plastic? I made plenty of plastic. <laughs> I made so much plastic. Okay. This room is chilling. Good. This room, whole room actually is, is getting to the point where it's chilling. Oxygen is a problem, but not that big of a deal right now. <clears throat> the wheeze warts, we, we retired the wheeze warts so that way we could cool more oxygen and create more hydrogen in the process. And that works, but we're not really cooling that hydrogen at all, right? Like it's just not cooling at all. So where can we... We should, like, find another biome to melt. Oh, god damn it. I have to think. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just, like, it's just... There are just so many decisions to make, and I'm gonna let it run. I'm just gonna let it fucking run. Until I figure out exactly what I want to do. I could, I could just put a bunch of drains down here. One, two, three, four. Underneath, so that way the natural gas... Because we have plenty of natural gas now. Uh, we have, well, ish. Is this dormant? This is dormant in 15 cycles. This is dormant in 58 cycles. Uh, we have lots stored over here. We have more that was getting made, but now, you know, it's not. 
But this is still going into the system. Yeah, it's still going into the system. So we have lots, lots and lots and lots. We could... I mean, I'm going to bet the batteries are probably not helping, actually. I bet these things are probably putting off a whole lot of heat. This was a good idea at first, but I almost feel like we didn't need this. Let's go ahead and destroy them all. Destroy them all. Let's see, just buildings. This is unnecessary heat. So we'll get rid of those. Let's go ahead and get rid of... Ba -ba 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 -ba. We'll do one, two. The two closest ones. And then we'll reroute this pipe here. Straight over to this guy here. Yeah, time to go to veggie. We, we do need to set up a couple... Uh, send a couple dudes out to, to, uh, to explore. Let me see. And then we can just go right over... Uh, no, we can't go straight over because... Because this thing requires room for the... <clears throat> well, let's put it in first. That way we can actually visually see. We'll put two of them in. We're looking for again after guest. There we go. And so we'll put uh, one and... Uh, what do I put? Like right about... It doesn't really matter. And then we're going to replace some of the floors before we get crazy and start pumping anything into it. we got to replace the floors with drains. So, we'll put drain. There we go. And that's going to go to what? Oh, it's going to drain right in. Oh, that's, wow, that's perfect, actually. Good. It's like right on the line, too. Convenient. And then, we need to cut some wires or cut some uh, hoses here. So this one, this one just, just one over, just, just a little off. And then we'll cut these to here. And then this, cut up here. So now we will take... Yeah, you know what, we'll keep some of this, but that could go... That can go from here. Then we're gonna go and paint. There's a vent right there. Careful of the vents. Actually, we'll go straight down over here. There, and then one, two, and then this connects to here, and then here. It's already on the main trunk. Uh, automation is already hooked up. Great. The drain's already hooked up. Whoops, wrong button. Drain's hooked up. Hoses are getting hooked up. And then this, we have to reroute this, that's all, to, to deliver hydrogen directly to the... Whoa. Oh, gosh. Directly to the hydrogen generator. Then we'll put a hose in there, or a bridge. Good. Then we'll get rid of that. Okay. That's gonna block the line, you think? What's gonna block the line? See, it's tough because, you know, you guys are on a little bit of delay, and so... And then I don't read everything immediately when it comes out, and so when I go back and I read... <laughs> That's gonna do this. It's like, oh shit, what? <laughs> I'm so far ahead now. So this should this this should get these lines running. Uh, it just needs this one right here, and then that's pretty much done. But that first one's running, which is good. And it's dripping, it's dripping, but it's not leaking anywhere, which is good too. Uh, there's a little bit of leakage. It's not what we want. We don't leakage. A little bit of a mess right here. I don't want them stepping in it, tracking all over the house. As long as it's enough. Oh, it's not quite. I yeah, see it's it's exceeding the boundaries over here. And we'll put another one over here just in case. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I have to run the pipe underneath. This is not. Yeah, this doesn't work. <clears throat> yeah, because this what happens is the pipes get backed up on themselves, which is super dumb. But that's just the way it works. And so I have to do this. And then go up. <laughs> yeah. We'll go get rid of this line. May place a block one high on either side so it can't escape. I, I, th I think this will work. I, th I honestly think that all, all these drains is enough. I, ha I mean, look at the setup over here. Like, these drains are enough. But this is perfectly fine. Um, oh, Oh, you know what? They're set in a little bit, too. Hmm. Nitsu! What up? What's happening? Nitsu, Nitsu helped me with some electrical stuff. We were talking earlier about uh, doing handyman work around the house. And don't do... So I imagine, like, don't do electrical stuff if you're not, you know, electrically savvy. 
But, you know, I just, I just asked Nitsa. Yeah. He solves our problems for me. <laughs> hey, how do I do this without dying? Well... <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know what? I do have these things sitting under a mesh. And so the mesh, you see there's mesh tiles here. So that creates a little bit of a pool uh, to give it a little bit of room. Um, but I, I do hope that this is enough, though, to prevent any kind of leakage. That this is, this is enough. What up, Donut? What are you doing? What are you doing? He's looking very... He's looking around at the floor like something's wrong. Come here! Come here! Up! Oh, oh, come here, buddy. Oh, oh! Hi! Big old wiener dog! Ah! Donuts here. Let's see, is it gonna make a mess? Ooh, mwah, 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 mwah. Doesn't look like it. Good. Good, good, good. How are you? You having a day? Are you having a day? Yeah. Chilling. Chill. Yeah, I know, he's so long. So long. Ah! Oh, are you stuck? Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Aw, let me just hug him. Put your head up so I can see you. Hello! <sighs> you know, I'm not the most affectionate with him. Because I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm the boss, right? So, like... I usually just tell him, it's like, let's go for a walk, let's do this, whatever, right? I'll just like say the commands that we're gonna do. Um, and so I feel like sometimes when I try to love him, he doesn't know how to reciprocate. He's just kind of like, uh, but when it's Jen, oh man, when it's Jen, he jumps in her lap, he's like loving all over her, smacking her in the face with his tail, he's so excited. Uh, but with me, he just doesn't quite know how to like just, because we don't cuddle or anything like that. I'm not a very cuddly guy except on the weekends it's like yeah let's relax on the couch or something but even then i have sunday you know so yeah so whenever i'm like you know trying to be like cuddly with him and everything and saying cutesy things he's kind of like uh <laughs> he's just like no no please please i'm just trying to get a paycheck here <laughs>